Welcome back, everybody, to some more EU4 with me, Daniel, playing as Italy. Last episode, we declared on Spain, and this episode, we're going to continue to mash and split the Spanish mainland up a bit. How much we're going to do, I don't know. We do have to be a little bit careful because of our overextension. It's already at 68%. We're going to reduce that by about 37% in the next few months, so it will not be too bad. It just means we can't rush to piece them out. Not that I intended to. We also need to get rid of this stack of Spanish troops that just keeps running away from us over and over, so we're going to try and catch it and stack wipe it, which I think we might be able to do now. I'm surprised. They didn't try to run, and then I go, oh, it was a fort. They can't run. There was no escape. They <laughs> rode right down the bottleneck. And that's now thoroughly stack wiped. We're going to keep a group of troops over here. Um, the other troop stack will just send over to Turkey for now. Gold rush. Yay, inflation. And 10,000 gold. Just a ludicrous amount. We're going to spend a little bit just to reduce our inflation because it was massive. Probably should have done that a few episodes ago, but it's fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, speaking of investing in things, I guess we should do a round of building, building. What do we even need at this point? Does anywhere need a furnace? One province does, so let's give it a furnace. Coal makes money, so anywhere that has coal, you should really do that. Our manpower limit is nearly 500,000, but I still think it's worth increasing. Yeah, anything that gives us more than, say, like 200, I think is worth doing that on. And then we probably want to deal with naval force limit as well. And anywhere that has zero or minus one building slots, you should definitely do it in, because it means you already have the inferior version of that building. Oops, don't know which one I just clicked, but it's fine. That is perfectly fine. Do we want to go for any more town halls? It does make the state maintenance a lot cheaper. I think this is worth doing. Oh yeah, definitely worth doing. This will help us with being able to turn more places into states. And as you can see, we're going to be very, very liberal with these. It may only reduce some of them by two, but that's definitely worth doing. So we're going to end up with a million notifications at some point. <laughs> Telling us that we've just built a million different things. Even though we're not hurting for cash, it makes sense to do it now while our guy in charge is an architectural visionary. And is what the AI would have done in our position. Too many liberties! Uh, yeah, I'll lose two prestige. Oh no, however will I cope? I think we can even start drilling with some of these stacks of troops. Our army professionalism is not as high as I would typically have it be. And but part of that is because we've been at war constantly. And it's hard to drill troops in training when they can't train because you're constantly murdering everybody else. So we'll, we'll start drilling some troops just to try and increase that. Also helpful in a pinch if you really need a lot of manpower in one quick go. That is something that it can provide straight away. 62% war score. We have finally called the two provinces in Brittany. So we're back down to 31% overextension. I really don't care if we go over 100, but it's just... If you can avoid doing it, you'd rather not do it. It's really nice if somebody could siege this out for me. You're so close, but you haven't quite got it. Times of need? No! We'll take prestige, we don't need any help. Not sure why the game thinks we would, I don't know why that even fired. Provence's relations have improved with us, absolutely don't care. What are the West Indies thoughts on Spain they still quite like them and I don't really know why not really understanding it also if somebody could why are you just sitting there with 42,000 troops and letting Newfoundland get sieged <sighs> near our limit on military points we should spend them on something 
So I guess we'll spend it on development. Because why not? Do we have any uneven numbers? I mean, our capital has uneven numbers, but oh my word, that is so expensive to do. That's crazy. 41 in... Why would I let this happen? 41 development. Gross. Do we have any others that aren't quite that ridiculous? We do. So that's now 35. Get that to 10. Uh, Brescia, we're going to get you to 10 with a few diplomatic points as well. It's not just neuroticism that you want a value of 5. It's to do with building limits. I think we'll just do that and we should be good. Yeah, perfect. Our manpower limit is now 512,000. And eventually, there is... Ooh, I did not mean to do that. There is a point eventually where we could... Let's see if it's even an option yet down here. When you get to a certain point where you're just so crazy strong, they'll end up with an, op be an option in the bottom where you just get some crazy bonus forever if you can manage to get to a certain level of power. We haven't got there yet. But we can now sit our navy out in Cape Bojador and kind of just annoy the Canary Islands. We're not going to siege them because it's a pain in the backside and we don't need to. But uh, at least we can get some more war score just by sitting in its proximity. Who's planning on revolting? Syrian rebels. Mildly inconvenient because the stack nearby is drilling, but we'll send another group down. I mean, why wouldn't we? Yeah, press the issue on that. Oh, good. We now have a claim on something that will not give us any discount by having a claim on it. Who cares? <laughs> Spain will hate us for the rest of time. It does not matter what they think about us. I would just like if somebody over here in laggy America, apparently, would deal with this one province miner. Like, what is taking them so long? I don't understand. Also, the siege... Yeah, the siege in... Rhodes is going to take forever. It's a level 9 fort, and my mercenaries only have three cannons. So they're going to be a while, even with full blockade. Oh, um, the most recent import Imperial reform had to be revoked. Oh dear. Holy Roman Empire must be really struggling. They still have 33 princes. So the numbers game's not terrible, but they're losing 0.6 authority per month. They'll never develop anything else. Yeah, 39 heretical princes and 52 provinces not controlled by a member of the empire. So yeah, they will never do anything else. They do have a new Holy Roman Emperor, though. A one province minor. That doesn't bode well. Also, why are there 165,000 troops here? What are they doing? Who knows? More people asking for military access. I'm going to say yes, because chaos is good. Alhambra. I know you're not very good. But you do decrease liberty desire, so I guess we'll just build it. Why not? I mean, we have so much money, I'm just going to throw a ton of money at it, too. There it goes. It'll build very soon. Feels like a slightly better use of money than some of the other things I could blow it on, so might as well. 65% war score. 66% war score. Annoying peculiarists that are going to sit here and be annoying. Stop drilling. One tick of morale should be enough to take these guys out. There's a load of buildings being built. Get another province converted. Sunni Muslim is hard to convert, so it's going to take a little bit longer than it was for any of the Christian faiths. We should be able to beat them there, too, without the peculiarists. Yeah, there we go. They didn't see siege anything. 
Annoying because it stopped me having to drill, but I mean, not that bad. There are a load of grand shipyards and more town halls and more town halls and more trading fields and more grand shipyards. You see what I mean? So, so many. <laughs> Get trigger finger on the enter key. Okay, what's our limit now? 519,000. How many ships can we have? Uh, 565. So yeah, we are we are way within the limit, so that's perfectly fine. Another province converted. Up to 81%, and that will certainly drop when we take land from Spain, but we'll enjoy it while it lasts. We're at a 21% tick now at Rhodes, so we're going to get there soon, hopefully. How's North America getting on? Well, Newfoundland is still being sieged because 13 colonies is refusing to help them for whatever reason. Maybe they just hate each other. They can't, but, I mean, they do hate other, other colonies in the area. Oh, there's, yeah, the Spanish colony's troops getting wrecked. Why there's a 29,000 stack still in Pacifico North, I have no idea. Rhodes finally has been sieged. You never really want to take... Oh, crud, I didn't mean to do that. That stack. Check trade in Aleppo. Go back to what you were doing. I hit the wrong, per wrong stack of ships. I want the transport stack to go in two roads because it is far better to grab troops from the port itself than to waste time and manpower, more importantly, moving them back across the sea. Oh good, two more transports, that's definitely what I wanted. 73% war score, I'm not even going to piece out the knights separately, I don't think it makes sense, I think it's just more useful to have them increase the overall war score. Kokomes or Kokoms, they just duck down to medium war enthusiasm, I don't know why, they're not being sieged right now. It must just be that their troops are getting wrecked. Yeah, that's all of their troops right there. All 1,200 of them. That's not quite so good. Another converted culture. That's nice. Oh, my word. 42,000 peasants. That sounds annoying, and it's only mildly. But I would love to have this 55k stack go back and drill. I guess the game's just saying, no, you have to keep one stack available at all times. Russia declared war on who? Zeeb? Cool flat, cool standard. Yeah, they are absolutely 100% toast. They're allied to Solon, and Solon will be saying so long to this game, I think. I never did commit to breaking alliance with Shun and gaining it with the Timurids, though. I still haven't committed mentally to wanting to do that. I still think it will be a good idea, but I haven't committed to it yet. 75% war score. How willing are they going to be to peace out? What will they give us? Okay, well, the difference is 114. So they'll essentially give us, what, like 92, 93% war score, practically speaking. Is there anything in here that I really want as a priority? These two provinces I do, because I'll complete a state. We want to make sure that Cabrilla gets those. We then have to claim this for ourselves. What state is this in? The Algiers state? Okay, so we do want that as well. I'm grabbing this now to give to my vassal. It's not really to prevent Portugal from getting it. I just want to get that out of the way. And then let's see if there's a state in here that's worth taking. That's probably not a bad state to take. I'm just looking at general numbers. Culture-wise, none of this is really going to work for us. We don't have Catalan as a culture. We don't have Andalusian. We don't have Castilian. We don't have Galician. So... No matter what we take, they're not going to be happy about it. I think that's what we would take. Those... Was it that four? Yeah, it is. 
I'm pretty sure one of these is a gold province too, isn't it? Yeah. La Mancha is a gold province. So if we take that, that'll obviously prevent Spain from having it. It'll cause us some over not overextension, some inflation. I mean, it will cause overextension when we take it, but that's not what I meant to say. I don't really have any interest in doing anything with the colonies out here. The way that they're split up right now is perfect for conflict, and that's what we want. So I don't think we're going to do that, do anything with that. Do we care about any nations in here joining the coalition? Yeah, Russia would stink. But essentially, we're going to have to attack Russia the second they have the opportunity to be attacked. That's just how it is. Speaking of which, when is that? Six years away, so we don't have... That's a non-issue. Okay, so... What else do we want to take? Do I take the Aragonese states? Or do we want to be a real butt and take the capital? Probably not yet. I'll probably take the Aragon state, because I don't want Portugal to hate me too much yet, and they don't have any borders with us that way. I'm not even going to ask for money, because that'll just make the peace treaty longer than it needs to be. Okay, beautiful. That's a lot of territory. That's going to cause some pretty significant overextension, but it's not enough to make us go over 100, and it especially won't be when we give this territory to our client state here. So Kabir, we want to grant a province. We're going to start with Mers el Kabir. Beautiful. We're then going to offer them Ouija. Or Ouija. Then Plemken. Why is this not in alphabetical order, by the way? Then we want to give Kasdir. And finally, Quasinis. There you go. So that's a lot of land. We're going to want to keep a stack over here because our vassal's probably going to be stupid and not deal with it properly. So just as a precaution, we're going to keep a stack over and bop any rebels that might show up as soon as they do. Let's take our big navy back. Let's just put it back, I don't know, in Niza for now. These 11 transports we just don't need, so I'm just going to put them in the bin. We already have a stack of 88 transports. I think we'll be okay. And I'm going to send the mercenaries down here. Eventually we'll move the 50k stack away. But for now, we'll keep it in place just as a precaution. And finally, this stack of troops can go back to drilling. Although, is there anybody else we need to declare or want to declare war on? Uh, go to coalition map mode. Bohemia could join a coalition against us, but I'm not convinced that they will. They, don't, they do have quite a lot of troops, but they have no manpower. They're also at war right now. Who is in that war? Uh, I can remember what this is under. I think it's under relations, isn't it? Yeah. Current wars. Okay, so Russia's busy with, well, the Shun, Rip Shun. Bohemia is in a war, but that is a very, very easy war. Britain's technically in a war too, but that is also an incredibly easy war. There's no really big war going on. I don't really want land from Bohemia, though, is the thing. I don't think I need any of their land to form Rome, do I? I don't... Uh, wrong button. I don't think so. Oh, I do! Oh, well, isn't that interesting? Um, I don't want to be that guy, but Croatia is incredibly vulnerable. And I do need their provinces. Well... This 34 random stack, 34k stack, you know what you're going to do. Oh, no, actually, keep you in place because you're technically going to need to deal with Bulgaria as well. We're going to take a stack over and we're going to bop Croatia. Do we need the Bulgarian province? I don't think we do, do we? 
Oh, we do. Oh, perfect. Two for the price of one. I'm wrong about everything. This 54k stack's already ready to roll. Let's just move it over. That way you can stay drilling. Bulgarian separatists. So that means this 41k stack can also drill. I hate to say it, but I think we should break our alliance with Sean. I'm not convinced there's anything they give us that's of any importance. I mean, I'd love to be able to intervene in this war. That would be awesome, but I don't think there's any way to do this. Yeah. Yeah, we can't intervene in it. So as a result, do we just want to burn our relationship with them? Because they're just going to get wrecked by Russia. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, I think we do. I think we dissolve it. Far better to do it this way than them to you know, have the alliance broken away. We could have pandered for something from them, but I'm not going to be that petty about it. 67 days before they come back. Do we even bother getting another ally? I mean, we're going to have to eventually, because we're going to have to attack Britain and Portugal if we want to form Rome. I'm still... I'm not sold, but the closer we get to the end of the game, the more I'm thinking maybe we will, because we have the opportunity. Who would Bohemia hate? Well, two ally two nations I'm already allied to, so that's... that's uh, that's not going to be quite the open case of interest I thought it would be. If I attack the Mamluks, it brings in Kilwa, which is a surprising number of troops. But Portugal would jump in, which is extra interesting, because Kilwa would siege all of their land. But I know I need a province from the Mamluks. I only need this one and I can't I can't get it right now anyway because I don't have the the ability with splendor or anything so I will wait. It is interesting. Hmm. But now let's deal with this incredibly embarrassingly easy unless it's war in name only really against Croatia and Bulgaria. Feels kind of sad, like I'm just squashing a bug, especially because, well, they're both they're both Protestant nations, so my defender of the faith isn't going to work very well here. But we, eventually, we're going to get to the point where this really doesn't matter, and we're just going to want to eat the land. So I think now is a good time to do it. Let's get it done while we have a nice, easy, open goal to do it. Except we don't now. Was this here before and I didn't notice? And who are you allied with? Nobody important. There's nobody important in here. Can I attack Bulgaria first? Because surely... How are you... I was going to say, there's no way you're part of the Holy Roman Empire. How? How is Bulgaria part of the Holy Roman Empire? It's fine. It's still fine. Okay, well that's just going to change the dynamic a little bit. Stop drilling. Stop drilling. Stop drilling. This one stack is going to have to stay over here. This stack, however, does not. It's going to come over. You stop drilling. Bring a stack over to Brescia. This stack doesn't need to be here then either. And we'll keep one stack over in Egypt. And this is why I said we should keep 
to my own troops. Actually, no, we don't even need to do that. What are we doing? We're not babysitting them to that degree. It's 5,000s worth of rebels. They can handle that. They can't. They shouldn't even be here. Yeah, they really like us because of all those provinces we gave them. Even though we've had them divert trade. They really like us. And we've placated them a bit too. We should call this stuff now. Yeah, look at our, our governing capacity is now ridiculous. So really, our priority is admin points. And the more the merrier. I'm even going to get... I'm even going to bump us to a plus five person. Admin points are what we want. Because we want to create a lot of states. Oh dear, a military leader left us. Was it this guy here? Get a new general. 4654. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that to the bank. Did I not leave a stack of troops down here? Where are you going? You don't need to. I'm going to... Tell you what, let's take our stack over to Spain. Well, former Spain. Our client state has, what, like 40,000 troops? They should be totally fine. I think we're good to go at this point. Okay. So let's declare on Croatia. It's going to ask for... Yeah, we can get Poland involved. I mean, why not? So this is going to bring in Anhalt, a load of tiny nations. Yeah, this, will, this is going to be a cakewalk. I'm going to do that to reduce some attrition. You don't even have a military leader, it's fine. If we look at the war map... Yeah, oh no, all these tiny Central European nations that aren't going to do anything to us. Yeah, not worried. How many troops do you have? 53,000? They have 53,000 troops, though. Let's not... Let's not, you know... Let's not be too condescending we'll go in two stacks and we'll leave a group here as a precaution in northern Italy yep as soon as we think it's going to be a cakewalk we're going to embarrass ourselves and lose so we should make sure we pay attention sure thing let's get Bosnia converted yeah we're back down to 79% Oh, another general died. Where? Where did you bite the dust? I, get, I know I've said it a few times, but man, I wish it showed you which stack a leader died in. Over here. In Egypt. Now you have Isidoro Gallielli, who is a surprisingly bad leader. 4321. Blast off. It was what I was thinking to fire him, but we'll wait. It's not, you know, atrociously bad, but considering our very high military tradition, I'm surprised it was that bad. I don't see any giant stacks of troops. There's a stack there that Poland's going to beat down. There is going to be some significant attrition here because I don't want to go around in tiny stacks as as they're kind of out of the way, and if we mess things up, we will really get messed up. 60, oh, there's the stack. There it is, it's in Poland. Which means I don't care. <laughs> That's something they can deal with. And it looks like they're going to. Can we build the next level? Oh wow, we can build lots of great projects. What do we have access to? So, Notre Dame, if we build it, we get more church power and essentially more stability because of tolerance of the true faith. Um, I mean, sure. 
Next option we have is the Parthenon, a level 1 Parthenon will give us more prestige and splendor. Probably unnecessary, but why not? Then we can have a level 2 Alhambra, which I think is genuinely worth getting because it increases diplomatic reputation. I'm absolutely a-okay with that. And then... Wait. This is the Parthenon? So what did I build before? Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we built something. Anyway, what does this give us? Less corruption? Cheaper advisors. Okay. That's a lot of money. But we have a lot of money, so... Why not? Guess we should use our navy for something, huh? Rather than just sit around doing nothing. Three ships need upgrading. That can wait for the future. Let's go park our ship in the Hel Helgoland Bight. Just, just, other than a little bit out here, almost all of our war and war opposition here has no coastline. Not a huge amount for my navy to do. And let's watch Poland smack some bad guys. Why on earth did they do it like this, though? So they've sent 40,000 in, while their other 51,000 troops aren't in range? They're still going to win, but that is an incredibly manpower inefficient way of doing that. The, the AI, they, uh, they're very special. They make decisions that just baffle the mind on a regular basis. Russia's sown descent. I mean, that's not a huge surprise. But it's also not a great big deal. I guess we should spy on Russia, eh? Build a spy network. You might as well. Oh, Burgundian separatists. We knew it was going to happen at some point, and now it's happened when it's most annoying. I don't have a stack quite close enough, I suspect, to get there before they complete their siege. Anyway, it's fine. Traveling minstrel, no thanks, just give me admin points. That's all I'm looking for. The province converted. Wish there was a button to automatically do this and just pick the one at the top, but meh. A little bit of manual work's never killed anybody. Siege of Weimar has been completed. We'll go to, what, Zwickau? Sure. I can't believe the siege is still going on in Bulgaria. I guess it is a level 9 fort, but it's on grassland, isn't it? Yeah, so there's no bonus there for them. There's the rebels gone. They did annoyingly get all you know, orcs are all. so it's going to cause more unrest for a while which annoying but not disastrous the ringier already wants to peace out can everybody here peace out individually no most of them are co-belligents because they hold the Roman emperor who was what anholt at this point And Halt and Saxony's flag looks very, very similar in my mind. Although in reality, it's really not that similar. It's just half of it is. I don't know. <laughs> my flag game is limited, I guess. Once we get Anne Halt pieced out, we can just piece everybody else out by extension. They don't really have anything to give us. And I don't really want a ton of their money because that's just more inflation. And I'd rather just, ha I'd rather just not deal with it. Oh, the rebels in Cairo fired. Well, that's just rude. At least they they fired in a place where they're going to take forever to siege. Which is probably for the best because I don't have a comfortable number of troops to handle them. So I guess this stack is being increased in size. Then we'll go after it. Siege of Anhalt is done and Swakow. They'll give them a couple of months anyway so that we can get our morale back.
move this stack away. F no, let's, pe let's just piece them out now. Get this pieced out. No, don't attack Bohemia. Peace out and halt. What's their war score? Pretty much they'll do it. <laughs> yeah, let's vassal the Emperor now. We're going to force religion because we're eating some other nations here. And just do that. It's going to force... <laughs> Poland's the Holy... Ro oh, my word. Poland is the Holy Roman Emperor. That could have been a terrible mistake. If they want to make France the Holy Roman Emperor... I'd be game for that, because here's the thing now. Wait. Poland's the Holy Roman Emperor, but they're at war with the Holy Roman Empire. Hmm. <laughs> this is there a way we can take advantage of this while they're at... Yeah, because they can't defend anybody because they're already at war. So theoretically, I could attack Provence now. And Poland could not defend them. And we do need a lot of land from Provence. We essentially need all of it. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna declare war on Provence. Drag Britain in. Do I even do I even need to drag Britain in to this? Not really. And they might just get in the way and siege things I don't want them to siege. Okay, we're not even gonna do that. Britain, you're gonna stick out of this one. Imperialism claim. Okay, well this is not how I expected this really go oh but he <laughs> you, I was oh hang on I can't can I so it's not the diplomat issue because I was looking back in nine days yeah you can't declare war on a member of the empire if you're allied with the emperor in a war so unlike normal situations where being in a war would prevent them from getting involved in this case I can't declare because Poland is now the Emperor. Hmm. Is that a good or a bad thing long term? This might be a really good way of breaking the alliance with Poland in a really clean way. By which I mean an absolutely awful, disgusting way, but will work to our advantage. Interesting. Okay, so we can't declare war on them yet. That's going to make an interesting dynamic that we'll be able to look into in the next few few episodes. Speaking of which, we're going to end this episode now. Because, again, it's another long one. So hopefully you'll enjoy it, and you have enjoyed it. Let me know if you have. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now. Thank you for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more, feel free to stick around.